Hello, this is Kieran from Server Pro, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up Serverless Plus on your Minecraft server so that you can change the way the server looks in the Minecraft server list. So, let's get straight into it. So, the first thing that you need to do is install the plugin onto your Minecraft server. So, if you go to this page down in the description below and then click download now and then click save and then you'll also need a plugin called protocol lib so there's also a link to this down in the description below so again just click download now to download this plugin too it's also worth noting if you're running an older version of minecraft such as minecraft 1.8 or you're running bucket you may want to use one of the older versions that are mentioned here however if you're using the latest just go ahead and use that download button once you've downloaded both of the dot jars for serverless plus and protocol lib go to the control panel for your minecraft server then go to the file manager, go to the plugins tab, and then click upload file. And we're just going to be uploading both of those dot jars that we just downloaded. Then once you've fully uploaded them to the control panel, click restart to load the plugins. Then once you've given your server a few moments to start up, click the refresh button and you should see a folder for serverless plus appear. So once you see that that folder has appeared, you can go ahead and join your server to enable the plugin. So as you can see, I've just joined my Minecraft server and you'll need to enable the plugin. So you can do this with the command forward slash SLP enable. And that will enable the serverless plus plugin so that it should be working. So now if I leave the server, you should see that it is now displaying a custom message in the serverless, which it is. And if we hover over the playlist, it should display something a bit different like so. So now that we've enabled it, we can go ahead and start configuring it. So if you go back to the control panel and then go into the file manager again and then go into the serverless plus folder and then you should see a file called serverless plus .yml appear. So if we go inside of that folder, this is where you can change the messages that are displayed with it. So at first, this file might look a bit complicated, but it's actually really simple and it is commented above. So if you look above here where all the hashtags are, this basically explains how the configuration file actually works. So if you don't want to watch this tutorial, just go ahead and read that and it should give you a good explanation as to how to edit it yourself. However, we're going to go through it quickly for you. So the first section here, it says default. So this is where it displays messages for players that have not joined the server before. So say you've got a new player, they add you to the server list. This is what they'll see. And then below that, we have a section called personalized. So what this means is if a player has joined the server and they've came back and they're looking on the server list to choose what server to play on again, this is the message that will be displayed. So these will only be displayed if the player has joined before and these ones are for new players that have not joined the server previously. So let's edit the default section first. So you can see here there's the description. So this stands for the actual description which is displayed underneath the server name. So if we take a quick look at Minecraft, you can see my server name is .serverpro and then this below is the description. So as you can see, it's displaying a personalized message, but it would display a different one if I haven't joined before. So here it would even display, it would display a Minecraft server now with PvP, minigames and much more. And it could also display a Minecraft server, we have updated our server to Minecraft 1.8. So now, how, how does it have two messages? So when you refresh the server list, it can display a different message out of these two randomly. So it just simply selects one of these at random to display to the player. So you could just have one message if you wanted to, so you could delete the bottom one and then it would only display the top one, or you could add more, you could have one, two, three, four, five, as many as you wanted, it would display each one randomly. So I'm just gonna go and add that one back that we just removed. So as you can see, I've added it back. So I'm going to change these to display something slightly different. So let's go ahead and edit the first line. So here you're also able to use formatting codes. So what are formatting codes? Formatting codes are a way to change the text in Minecraft, such as the color, whether it's bold, italic, underlined, whether it's got a line through it, so if you go to this web page, there'll be a link to it down in the description below, and you can see all the different color codes. So here are the color codes, and then the formatting codes are also here. So you can use any of these to change the color of the text. So if we go back to the control panel, I want the message to be displayed in like a light aqua or light blue. So the color for that is and B. So I'm going to put and B, and I'm going to put the message. So I'm going to put, um, we are an awesome community. And then that would display that message in that color code. So if we take a quick look at that, that would be an aqua or a light blue. So if we go back, let's edit the second line. So for this line, I'm going to use a light red. So I'm going to use and C, I believe it is. So if we double check that, and C is a light red. So here I'm going to put, um, we are running on Minecraft 1.12.2. 
and I'm going to change the color code from Minecraft 1.12.2. I'm going to change that to a light blue just to make the colors stand out a little bit more. And then I'm going to put C for the exclamation mark. So that's the description message edited. Feel free to edit the second one if you want to or add any extras. If you wanted to add any extras, just copy from the last character up to where the first dash starts. Click copy and then paste it below and then just edit that as well. And you can have as many as you want. You can have five, six, seven, even ten if you wanted to. There's no limit, I don't believe. Um, but I'm just going to stick to one as I prefer there only to be one message to be displayed. But feel free to use the multi feature if you want to. So after we've edited that one, I'm going to be looking at the player's hover tag. So if we go back to the server list, you can see when I hover over the player list, it comes up with a different message. So this is the message that we're going to be editing here. So if you go back here, you can see that for default messages, i.e. players that haven't joined before, it will display welcome to a Minecraft server. Currently, there are this many players online playing on our server. So I'm not going to do too much editing to this. I'm just going to change it slightly. So I'm going to put welcome to server pros server. And then on the second line, I'm going to put currently there's this many players online. So what percent online percent stands for is the amount of players that are online. So say you've got three players online, it would display three there. So I'm also going to put a forward slash and then I'm going to put percent max percent. So that reflects the amount of player slots that you have assigned to the server. So say you had 10 player slots, here it would display currently 3 out of 10 players are currently playing on our server. So I'm just going to leave it at that, I'm only going to make some small changes, but again you can change it completely if you want to, you can add different colour codes or whatever you want. So now we've completed the default section, we're going to move on to the personalised section now. So again you just do a similar thing, edit the messages to display whatever you want and change the colour codes, add extra messages, even just have one if you wanted to, and then you can also change the player section also again. But here you're able to use the percent player percent placeholder. So what this does is replaces percent player percent with the player's username. So when a player has used the server before or played on it, the plugin has the player's name stored in its database, so it can use it. So feel free to change that and manipulate it so it looks like the server is talking to a player as it can help players join the server. So I'm actually just going to leave it as default as I don't feel the need to edit it for the tutorial as you've seen what's happened here and I will demonstrate the changes we've made. Um, but yeah, so that's basically all the settings for the plugin that you're going to be looking at. So once you've made all the changes you want to, click save and then restart your server. Then once your server has restarted, you should be able to see the changes in the playlist. So I've just logged into a different account on my Minecraft and as you can see, it's displaying the message that we edited. So it's displaying, we are an awesome community in a light aqua and it's displaying the lower message in red and then the version number which we added also. And then if I hover over the playlist, it should display the server pro message that I added. So as you can see, it's saying, Welcome to Server Pro Server, and it says currently zero out of 100 players are playing on our server. So that's it. That's all you need to do with the plugin. And again, if you edited the um, personalized messages too, they would change if the player has joined the server before. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. If you need any help with this plugin or you run into any issues at all, feel free to contact our support, and they'll be more than happy to help you. Other than that, feel free to leave any suggestions for new tutorials you'd like to see in the comments down below. So thank you for watching, I hope that you have a great day, goodbye.